Spoilers! Darth Vader is Luke's dad. Spoilers! Bruce Willis is a ghost. Spoilers! Snape kills Dumbledore. Are you pissed yet? Or perhaps a better question is, why are you even pissed at all? I mean, granted, spoilers ruin the surprise, and for a large majority of viewers, we like to be surprised. We like to witness the unexpected. When a writer or director crafts a story with a twist or something sudden and unexpected, they do it to surprise people. Spoilers ruin the emotional experience intended. There's no argument about why spoilers are a bit of a no-no. What I can actually argue is why is it that when someone spoils something, we desire to gut them like a fish and drink their blood? I mean, Jesus guys, calm down, it's not the end of the world. We've all seen it happen or perhaps have had it happen to us. Someone gets too eager, posts a Facebook status reacting to an episode of a popular TV show, and everybody else ends up ganging up on that person with their pitchforks and torches. Happens all the time. I guess before we can solve the problem of people going ape shit over spoilers, we have to stop and ask ourselves, can spoilers really ruin the product? In some cases, absolutely. The Sixth Sense is an okay film, but the entire film hinges on the audience being unaware of Bruce Willis being dead. So by talking about it, we are essentially ruining that film. The only reason I'm even using it as an example is because I'm totally okay with ruining the sixth sense. But in most cases, a spoiler really isn't that damaging to the overall product, or at least it shouldn't be. You can watch a movie like Citizen Kane or Fight Club and know about the big twist, yet still enjoy these films. A good story should work with the twist, but doesn't rely on it. I can watch Citizen Kane, know that Rosebud is a sled, and still enjoy watching these characters and go on this emotional journey with them. The same could be applied to TV shows. Walter White dies at the end of Breaking Bad. Put the angry YouTube comments down. I am going somewhere with this. Guess what? You still don't know how he dies. You don't know if he's killed by a friend or an enemy. You don't know about the fate of all the other characters. Heck. The first episode of the show establishes that he's probably going to die. This show is still going to be good, even if you know where it's going. So I guess some spoilers should be left unsaid, but only if the entire movie or show would crumble without it, which in most instances isn't the case. So some careful judgment is needed. If the show has been building up to it the entire series, best to just leave it be. But if it's just some random character death or side plot point, the show's quality isn't going to crumble if we spoil it. So with that being said, should we really be getting that upset when someone spoils something about a show or movie we haven't watched yet? Well, you know what? Screw it. I'm totally on the person who posted the Facebook status's side. This person is a dedicated fan. They watch each and every episode the night it comes out. If you don't want spoilers, you should be doing the same, or at the very least, staying off social media till you see it. Because otherwise, it's sometimes unavoidable. People are going to talk about things they want to talk about, and they have every right to do so. Yes, some of us have busy lives, and we can't dedicate our time and effort to watching every show the minute a new episode comes out. That's totally understandable, and people should respect that. But don't act like the victim, because at some point, you shouldn't be expecting everybody to cater to your schedule. For example, Breaking Bad ended almost three years ago, and I guarantee some people are probably already angry and upset that I spoiled the end of the series a couple of minutes ago. Are we honestly supposed to wait three years or more until you're good and ready and caught up? At some point, you missed your chance to be angry at spoilers. Getting upset that someone spoiled something that came out last night is a lot different than getting upset at someone who spoiled something that came out years ago. Also, don't you just love when you post something with a big ass spoiler warning and then still get people complaining because they read what you posted? If you read something where someone says, danger, spoilers ahead, and still kept on reading, that's your own damn fault. Curiosity slayed the spoiler avoider. Both sides need to be respectful to the other. If you're going to talk about spoilers, 
Do it in a place outside the public view as much as possible. But if you haven't seen the show, don't get upset when you log onto social media and see people talking about it. It's the internet. It's to be expected. When it comes to movies and shows, they're telling a story. Whether spoilers ruin it or not, it's important to remember, as with every story, it's not about reaching the destination, it's about the journey.